Welcome to the KD Enterprise Channel. The best way to support me is to subscribe, so please subscribe. Good day, everyone. Well, it is nasty outside. It's pretty cold and pretty windy, so it's well below freezing point. So I thought I'd do a video here. Um, just had to get my uh, drone here. I need to get the battery. I'm gonna do a little. Uh... Oh my goodness, he's angry. Well, uh, fine. Uh, you know what? If you're gonna be all angry because we can't fly, I'm not going to use you today. I'll use a different drone. All right, I'll use this guy here today for the video. Hopefully he's not uh, all mad. Oh my goodness. Look, he looks so sad. How come? What's, ma what's the matter, little buddy? Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, your camera's broken off. No yaw arm. Hmm. Wow. Let's see what we can do about that. Oh, and you even have mud on you. Oh, wow. Okay, well, you can stay out. You seem to have a good attitude. I, I understand why you're actually sad. You have a reason. Well, your poor little thingy doesn't even work. It is really broken. Good day, everyone. Well, in this video, if you've uh, suffered some damage to your drone, the most common thing really is the uh, yaw arm uh, gets broken off. Now, I'm not repairing it today, but I'm going to go through what you need to track down to, uh, you know, resolve this type of situation. I mean, if it's obvious why your drone crashed, you know, if it was an error on your part or something, you know it wasn't really the drone's fault, so you know that, you know, all this stuff is, everything is working. It's just broken now. Um, if your drone crashed for absolutely no reason, uh, that's a little bit trickier because... You know, it could be within the electronics. Um, that's a tougher call on whether you want to fix it or not. But this one, I am pretty sure what happened is the uh, battery, for whatever reason, um, it seemed to have a lot of movement in here. It lost power. The drone fell out of the sky. So I'm going to address that, uh, that issue also in another video, just to tighten up the battery in here so it doesn't uh, move around. So anyways, just to get started... The things that you need, now I have almost everything, and the reason I'm doing this video in advance, because it's probably not, not going to be a month until I actually do the repair, because you have to order stuff, and some of it comes right from China, so it takes a very long time. So the first thing that you're going to have to do, um, and you can get these, this is the Phantom 4 Advanced, the parts are exactly the same for the Phantom 4 Pro. Uh, don't believe what people say, they're both exactly the same. Um, as far as I understand, I talked to a few people that repair drones, they say that it's a, the same SKU numbers, uh, unless some changes have been made, but you know, since the time of this uh, video. But anyways, this is the, the new uh, yaw arm. This one I phoned around, actually what I did is I phoned around to shops that actually repair drones to see what they would sell me. Some of them will sell you stuff, others won't. And it's not that they don't want to, it's DJI. They don't want anyone else to sell anything, so neither you are. The next item, this is the camera cable. Uh, it's a fairly long cable. Um, again, I would try to find this from a shop that repairs drones, because what I've heard, some of the cables on the internet that you buy just aren't up to standard. So this one, uh, this is a good quality one. That's for the camera. And what I didn't realize, there's also another cable that if the arm breaks right in half, it's probably gonna ruin this cable and this cable runs to the yaw motor. Um, so this cable's broken and you can't buy this cable. So this is the uh, yaw arm motor cable. What you have to do is buy the actual motor. So the yaw arm motor. That I don't have, it's on order. Probably won't get it for a month, but if you order your stuff now, maybe by the time I get my stuff, you'll have your stuff, and I can show you how to do the repair. Now this metal piece that's hanging here, 
that's the uh, yaw arm motor cable um, I guess just like a, a protector plate or a little cable protector I don't know the exact proper name but I'm going to take it apart and hopefully I can just straighten this thing out uh, once I have it off and we'll go from there I don't really see that it's super super important to actually get this replaced probably be fine without it but we'll find out and the other thing that you're going to need just go on Amazon and do a search for uh, Phantom 4 Pro or Phantom 4 uh, Tools. I found this little tool kit, as you can find them too on Amazon. Many people sell them. Basically everything here to take apart your drone. You know, it comes with some uh, little tweezers and uh, the screwdriver head here or end and all the bits here. Now this is something uh, for the average person if you're just repairing things once in a while perfect if you want to get fancy you can buy motorized ones you can buy ones with quick connectors and all that stuff but this was really cheap so it was under 20 or I think it was around 20 bucks or something so that's pretty much everything you need so I'm just waiting for the yaw arm motor and I actually bought two of them if I don't use both of them at some point I can always sell one or sell them both if this doesn't work out Okay, there you have it. Like, subscribe. If you click on the notifications, uh, especially if you're subscribed, you'll know when I'm making the uh, video on the actual repair. So, order your parts, get them now, and hopefully uh, we'll all be ready to go.